Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have 3y squared equal to 3y. Okay. Um, this is very simple, right? By the way, what can I do? We can divide this by 3, divide by 3. This will go with this, right? And then this will equally go with this. And now y squared is equal to y. And then from here, you can no longer divide both sides by y because this is a quadratic equation, even though there is no constant. So y squared minus y is equal to 0. So that's from here, what do we do? We can factorize y out. Then y will be here minus 1 equal to 0. If you want to know you're right, open the bracket. y times y, y squared. y times minus 1, minus y. So we are still okay, right? Then the next thing is to, div um, to um, equate either this or this to 0. So we can see that y is equal to 0 or y minus 1 is equal to 0. So that's from here, y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 plus 1. And then our y here is 0 or y here is 1. So these are the two values of y that can satisfy the equation. And um, what is the equation again? 3y squared equal to 3y, right? So if we put 0 here, it's going to be 3 times 0 squared. That will be 0. 3 times 0 is still 0. If you put 1 here, it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1 squared. And it is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 1. Because 1 squared is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then on the other side, 3 times 1 is still 3. So this is to say that these two values of y are satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching.